Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and today we are going to be doing a Q&A based on the questions I was asked in my comments and in my stories on Instagram. And there will be eight in total, so stick around to find out the answers. Okay, so the first question I was asked was, what inspired me to become a writer? And I think it was definitely my mother and my sister. Um, they told me stories, they wrote stories, and they read me stories ever since I was very little, and it definitely instilled the love of reading and writing in me, and the love of stories, and how they work, and how characters are, and what makes a good story. I learned all those th things through them, and I think that's what inspired me mostly to become a writer. So the second question I was asked was, what part of writing is most difficult um, for you? And I would have to say for me, I am not that great of an editor, and so that is not my strong suit. But of course, as all writers know, it is a um, need for authors now so that you can take that step further and get published. and. It really helps bring your novel to another level, level when you understand how editing works and how to better edit your novel and self-edit it. Um, another thing I think is worth a mention is fear. Um, fear was definitely a difficult thing. As writers, we tend to be afraid to start that Instagram um, or to join YouTube, or to put our books out there at all, or get past a certain point so that we, so we fear failure, or we fear judgment, or whatever it may be at that point. Um, I think that's definitely one of the things that is difficult to overcome as a writer, is fear. So the third question I was asked is, is there romance in Soul Chaser and is it action-packed? And I would definitely say there is subplot romance in Soul Chaser and that there is s lots of action. Um, it is lots of story and lots of twists and turns and there are some fight scenes, some running scenes, all the good stuff. Um, and so I will hope you will check that book out when it comes out in 2022. Um, it is my debut novel and it will be a duology. So the fourth question I was asked is if I am a plotter or a pantser, and I am definitely a pantser. So a little bit about plotting and pantsing. Um, I just love to have a simple outline, starting point, rising action, climax, falling action, and then knowing what the ending is, and starting with a couple characters. Now, that being said, I do think that plotting can be important when you have some things that you have to tie up, say it's a series and you have to tie up everything at the end, it can be really important to plot ahead those things like what your overarching theme, bad guy is or your whatever it may be over a series of books, um, and that can be really important too. And I definitely think it depends on the person, but I am a plotter, and I mean I am a pantser at heart. and. I definitely love just getting my stories on the page with not a whole lot of preparation ahead of time. The fifth question I was asked was, how long have I been a writer? And this is kind of a two-part question. So the first part is, I when I was nine, ten, I started writing, but because of fear, which I talked about earlier, and judgment issues, I didn't think I was good enough and so I quit writing and I was stubborn about it and so I didn't start writing again actually until last March and I'm so grateful I did because I am so excited to be part of the author tube community and to be able to put my creative ideas onto paper um so that means that I've been writing for let me count March, April, March, April, March. so this will be my eighth month being a writer 
writer again, um, and I've definitely been able to work on lots of creative projects and feel that love of stories that was instilled in me from long ago now and be able to understand how they work. So the sixth question I was asked is who is my favorite underrated character and I think I had to think about this for a little bit and I have to say it's probably Madge from The Hunger Games. She was such a good friend to Katniss and she really played a role after The Hunger Games and even a little bit before. She's the mayor's daughter. She didn't end up in the movies because obviously there's a whole bunch of stuff in a book that you can't put in the movies because it, there's just too much. But I did miss her in the movies and she is probably my favorite underrated character. The seventh um, question that I was asked is, what is my favorite character trope and what is my least favorite character trope and why? So my favorite I probably say is a sarcastic, cynical best friend to the main character. This is one of my favorites to write and read. I love just everything about this character and they can go really deep or be really shallow and they're still funny and add that sort of um, spice to the story. Um, so my least favorite trope, character trope, would probably be the popular girl. Now this can also be done really well, but for the most part I haven't liked what I've seen coming out of this. Um, but that can be said out of any tropes, there can be bad tropes and good tropes, dependent on who is doing it and using it. Um, so the eighth and final thing that I'm going to share with you is how do I sign up for NaNo? And I will show you that very soon here on the screen, and I will show you how to sign up and make a project. All right. So we're going to start by going to nanorimo.org, and this is their website. So this place you can sign up for free, and you just click the sign up button. And all you're going to need is an email, and a password, and a user team. You're also going to see that there's a time zone down below that you can choose. This will help when you're doing groups and other things like that. And then you can sign up. I have an account, so I'm just going to click I have an account and sign in. So I will show you, you can see right there is my Project Angel, which I will give you the details on. Um, so this is my NaNoWriMo project, um, and I've dubbed the name Project Angel for now, and it is in prepping. There are many stages all the way through um, published that you can choose from. Um, currently, obviously, it's in prepping because I haven't started it yet. You can use a public or for just your buddies or only for you. Um, there's also selection of what kind of thing you're writing. So, obviously, for Nano, it's probably going to be a novel. Um, you can also choose genres. Uh, I've placed mine here already. You can also do a summary or an excerpt. And you can also link Pinterest boards or a project playlist that you like. And then you can save changes. Um, I'll show you now how to make a new project. So I'll just go over to the side here and click on projects. And I have zero words written, but I'm going to announce a new project. And I am going to say that it is a poetry. Um, and that I'm going to associate it with a project and with a nano uh, event, which you can or don't have to. It's optional. Uh, it is going to be named uh, fantasy. Just put that in there. And you can put your goal, which is next. Um, my goal is to um, do a rough draft, write the rough draft. <laughs> Oops. I'll just correct that there. 
And then I will be writing, not editing it. And I will choose a new word goal, let's say 100 words. Um, and you can choose a start date and an end date. And then you can go on to list genres. Obviously, I'm going to put fantasy. Um, and then you can put a summary, just like the others, and save project. And then it'll be listed as a project. And that's how you set up a project on the NaNoWriMo website. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just go to my profile. So you can see that I've written zero words. Um, you can see both the, oh, the one project I just made. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know if you're a plotter or a pantser and what your favorite character trope is. And I will be putting content out every Sunday, except for in November, which I will be doing NaNoWriMo Diaries. So I'll see you pretty much every day of November. Um, and please do hit the subscribe button and like this video and hit the notifications bell so that you'll be notified every time I post new videos. Alright, that's all for today. Bye. Thank you.